This is the Airbus ACH-135, the luxurious version of the H-135. The aircraft was launched in the mid-1990s as a replacement for the aging B0105, and when Airbus launched their ACH brand in 2017, the ACH-135 was positioned as a premium offering in the light twin-engine segment, intended to provide an elevated level of customization, comfort, and performance to meet the expectations of VIP, corporate, and private owners. Over the years, the H-135 platform saw numerous enhancements, including engine upgrades and advancements in avionic systems, and these were often mirrored in the ACH-135, given its positioning as a high-end, versatile, and capable aircraft. The focus on customization and luxury became more pronounced in the ACH-135 variant with the introduction of premium interiors, advanced in-flight entertainment systems, and improved noise insulation. But how luxurious is it really? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Airbus ACH-135. Stepping inside, the aircraft offers a spacious interior with a cabin height of approximately 4 feet 3 inches or 1.3 meters and a width of around 5 feet 5 inches or 1.65 meters, an adequately roomy setting for up to 7 passengers, excluding the pilot. The craftsmanship inside is extraordinary, with high-quality leather seats and tasteful fabric trims, complemented by state-of-the-art metallurgical accents. The materials not only provide a lavish ambience, but are also engineered for durability, meeting stringent aviation standards. When it comes to seating configurations, the ACH-135 is fairly versatile. The standard layout includes club-style seats for four passengers at the rear and two individual seats up front, directly behind the pilot. Each seat is approximately 20 inches or 50 centimeters in width, providing a comfortable and snug fit. The rear club seats come with a folding table ideal for work or in-flight dining. These seating arrangements can be customized to cater to individual preferences, such as an all-forward-facing layout. One of the standout features of the cabin is its impressive noise reduction capabilities. Equipped with Fenestron shrouded tail rotors and advanced soundproofing materials, the helicopter maintains a noise level of around 82 decibels, which is relatively low for an aircraft of this caliber. Talking about connectivity, the ACH-135 is equipped with a top-notch in-flight entertainment system that includes a variety of multimedia options, from music to video streaming, and multiple charging ports, and an available Wi-Fi connection enable passengers to stay plugged in throughout the journey. Climate control is another feature worth noting. The aircraft comes with an efficient environmental control system that maintains a steady interior temperature, with a range from approximately 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, or 15 to 27 degrees Celsius. Additionally, the air filtration system is engineered to keep the air clean and odor-free, on the practical side, the ACH-135 provides ample storage space, with compartments built into the side panels and a rear baggage area that can accommodate around 88 cubic feet or 2,500 liters of cargo. The helicopter also offers a mini-fridge and optional catering services, depending on the service provider. Finally, talking about safety features, the ACH-135 comes standard with an array of safety features, such as impact-resistant seats and multiple redundancy systems across critical components, ensuring that the aircraft meets the highest levels of safety as per aviation regulations. Stepping inside the cockpit, it features a spacious design with a width of approximately 5 feet 3 inches or 1.6 meters, accommodating two crew members and offering a dual-pilot IFR-capable layout with a side-by-side -side seating arrangement. Constructed with high-grade composite materials and aviation-specific alloys, the cockpit exudes durability while minimizing weight. The finishes are utilitarian but of a high standard, reflecting Airbus's commitment to quality and safety. You won't find leather and fine woods, but you will find a cockpit designed for the business of flying. The avionics suite features the Helionix system that sets the standard for helicopter avionics. The system comprises dual FADEC along with a four-axis autopilot system, which enhances the handling and safety of the aircraft significantly. The Helionix system incorporates large multifunctional displays, typically featuring two 6 by 8 inch screens, or optionally three screens, providing pilots with an intuitive interface to interact with essential flight data. 
These screens offer exceptional readability, even under bright sunlight, ensuring pilots can easily read important information at a glance. The avionics suite comes equipped with VHF radios, GPS, and instrument landing system capabilities. An optional traffic collision avoidance system and terrain awareness and warning system can be integrated, adding another layer of safety. Satellite communication systems can also be included, allowing for real-time data exchange even when flying in remote areas. The cockpit boasts a four-axis autopilot system, allowing the pilot to maintain altitude, heading, speed, and vertical speed. Safety is accentuated with features like the first limit indicator, which combines critical flight parameters into one easy-to-read display, and the integration of LED lights offering adjustable brightness, which ensures that the cockpit remains illuminated enough for pilots to read instrumentation clearly without any distracting glare. The Helionix system also offers a high level of redundancy across its electronic architecture, reducing the possibility of system failure. In addition to ergonomic seating, the cockpit also features ample storage compartments for flight manuals, maps, and other essential gear. There are also multiple USB ports and electrical outlets, allowing pilots to charge their devices or plug in additional equipment. Now, let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The ACH-135 comes with a choice of two power plants, either the Safran Helicopter Engines Arius, 2B2 Plus or the Pratt and Whitney Canada PW206 B3. Both are turboshaft engines and have a solid reputation for performance and reliability. The Arius 2B2 Plus churns out a maximum takeoff power of 952 shaft horsepower, while the PW206 B3 delivers up to 914 shaft horsepower. TBO for the Arius 2B2 Plus is rated at 4,000 hours, and for the PW206B3, it stands at 3,500 hours. These engines utilize FADEC for optimal performance and ease of operation, contributing to lower pilot workload and higher operational safety. Both engines offer impressive thrust-to-weight ratios, conducive to better performance in challenging conditions such as high altitude or high temperature environments. These engines can generate enough thrust to lift the helicopter's maximum gross weight of approximately 6,500 pounds or 3,000 kilograms, providing sufficient power for most types of operations. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 1,640 feet or 500 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 20,000 feet or 6,100 meters. The aircraft has a maximum cruise speed of 137 knots with an average hourly fuel burn of 125 gallons or 475 liters. The helicopter has a maximum range of 342 nautical miles, which is 395 miles or 635 kilometers, with a useful load of 3,300 pounds or 1,500 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new Airbus ACH-135 is $10 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $2,500 to $4,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $200,000 to $300,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $1,250 to $2,000. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.